Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes All The Way from Down Under with a video about Dizzle, which is a free-to-play third-person shooter. It's been on the Steam store for a couple of months, so I decided to go and download it. And it, in my opinion, it's actually quite a decent third-person shooter. We see a lot of really, really generic games, and this can fit under that, you know, under that category. It doesn't really bring anything new to the table, to be perfectly honest, but whatever it does, it does relatively well. Now, let's just have a look at the gameplay first up. The gameplay is very reminiscent of, let's say, like a Korean or a Japanese or Chinese generic first-person shooter. Feel like Crossfire, in a way, one of those types of first-person shooters, had a baby with Gears of War. Now, is this bad? No, it's actually quite a decent combination. I have a lot of fun playing this game. The game doesn't do anything groundbreaking. It doesn't bring anything new to this genre. But whatever it does, it does really, really, really well. Character movement is really responsive. You've got your roll function, you've got the sprint function, very, very, very reminiscent of Gears of War, should I go and say. You've got a very responsive cover system that isn't okay. I'm going to go, okay, it doesn't really show up there, but <laughs> it's actually very good, where you can just go and snap onto walls by just walking up to them instead of, like, pressing a button. Removing that extra button that you see in other third-person shooters goes and makes the gameplay much, much more fluid. The way the guns work in this game are along the same lines, very responsive. When I fire, even though in this game I have a 400 ping, I know that when I fire my shot, it's going to go and really, really hit that opponent quite hard. See the delay on that shot? You can know when you've got a really, really, really bad ping is when that happens, but... Besides from that, if you're playing this on a decent internet connection, when you fire, you know your bullets are going to go and hit. The guns feel very responsive, and that is really, really fun. It goes and increases the fun potential really, really, like tenfold, in my opinion, if your guns actually feel the way they should. Now, in terms of maps and modes, the maps are really not that inventive. They're not unique. They haven't put too much time into it but whatever time they have gone and put the maps are functional they serve their purpose this one is very much just straight and narrow you've got some stuff to hide behind so people just sit at the back and camp or you can play super aggressive like a sniper rifle as you can see this gun so OP to bear if you do go and play this game go and buy it for permanent you have enough money from the very start and that's a lag right there as well GG but the maps are really nothing to go and rave about. You're not going to go and say, man, Dizzle has the best maps in the free-to-play third-person shooter genre. It's just not really its standing point. N not that the maps are bad. I especially enjoy this map. I really like close-range, very narrow maps where I can see all my enemies. I don't have to go left and right too much. But people that want a bit more complexity to their maps, you're not really going to go and find it in this game. One thing I'd like to go ahead and say is the lack of pay to win in this game. The gun I'm using in this gameplay, the Barrett, I just bought this using the GP, the in-game money. It was like 27,000. I had like 32 from the very start because I did the tutorial and all that because you get a bit of money from the tutorial. And I am wrecking face with this gun. So saying that and having a look at all, you know, the, in, the real life money alternatives, they're really not that better than their uh, in-game variants. And that is really, really, really good. It's really good to have it, see a game where it isn't really that pay to win. So let me go and summarize. If you want just a relatively decent free-to-play third-person shooter, it doesn't take itself too seriously, you just want to hop on, have a game, hop off or something along those lines, then Dizzle is the game for you. Is it groundbreaking? Is it the best third-person shooter we've ever seen? No, but it isn't by any, any stretch bad, and it's a decent download if you just want to have a little bit of fun. But other than that, it's Undercover Dudes, all the way from Down Under, out.